Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Black Ops 3 In Depth. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the mistakes that I have made in previous episodes because nobody's perfect and part of doing videos about this tips guides and just running an honest channel is being man enough to own up to my mistakes. Now, I have made probably about 50 or 60 in-depth videos since the game came out. Several of them were rushed around holiday travel and like any human, I did make some errors. I'm going to point out the bigger ones and the ones that will impact your gameplay. So this episode is going to go kind of like a random list of facts. The gameplay you're seeing right now is me versus a clan of subscribers. You'll see the drift tag on the other team. They all kind of recognized me and wanted to try hard, so I wanted to try hard and I got some nice sweaty gameplay for you. Fact number one is that the VMP now has normal aim down sights time and wider than average hip fire spread. Some of these random facts today are going to be due to those good old Vonderhaar buffs and nerfs, but the VMP originally in that in depth I said it had a fast aim down sights time, normal hip fire spread, the ADS time got nerfed and the hip fire got nerfed so it has a worse than average hip fire for the submachine gun class but it does aim down sights in a normal time now instead of a fast time two little micro nerfs for the vmp but it might slightly impact your gameplay the icr1 has recently been buffed to have a tighter than average hip fire spread it's not tremendously tighter but it is just a little bit better than average makes the gun better gives it something some kind of edge other than the accuracy so it's not a bad gun for laser sight or something like that the hvk 30 and Dingo also have slightly better than average hip fire spread. These are facts that I just straight up left out of in-depth because I forgot about them, and that's why I'm using the HBK-30 with a laser sight in this gameplay. Their maximum hip fire spread is actually smaller than most other weapons in their classes, respectively, both for the HBK-30 and the Dingo, so both of these weapons will perform much better in close quarters combat. They're going to run much better with gung-ho and much better with laser sight. I do like it on the HBK-30, and I did it with the Dingo in a live stream and it performed pretty well, so I'd recommend it if you feel like hip firing on either of those classes. We're going to move out of hip fire territory and into a little bit of actual rate of fire. In the PO6 episode, I made a pretty major mistake and said that the burst fire speed was actual was like 600 rounds per minute. It's actually 1800 rounds per minute. That's one of the bigger mistakes I made on in depth. It fires incredibly quickly. Like it's probably the fastest firing thing in the game and I I what I did is I read the stat chart wrong. I accidentally kind of sort of forgot a decimal point when I was converting from fire time to rounds per minute and things got a little bit screwball in the math. So I did want to point out PO6 burst fire super duper fast so you shouldn't have to worry about tracking targets or any of that silly kind of stuff I said in that in-depth episode. Another mistake I made is that saying that shotguns have zero wall penetration factor and that you could put FMJ on them. Shotguns don't have FMJ. I just I don't know. I'm just so used to all the guns having the same attachments. I was just like, oh, slap FMJ on it. They've had an FMJ for like the last eight Call of Duty games, and you're gonna like, okay, well, why did you say they had zero wall penetration factor? Well, in the stat chart that I have, which is kind of like my master reference for most of the things I do in in depth, it says penetration type one, two, three, four, and all the shotguns just have zero. Zero is actually a value, like a decimal value that indicates performance in a different file, zero being the lowest amount of wall penetration factor. I read zero, and I thought zero as in it's going through the wall and dealing zero damage. That's not the case. It will deal a tiny amount of damage and you can punch through walls with them. It's just like really really, I mean it might as well be zero. It's kind of garbage but I would like to point that out. Another big mistake that I made on the shotgun episodes and these are the ones, I made all of these like, like one night before I had to do all my holiday travels and visit in-laws and do that kind of stuff. Human beings making mistakes. I said that the silencer on shotguns reduces damage. That's not true. It actually reduces range. I kind of misread and I when, when you, it reduces range pretty significantly and makes it feel like a piece shooter. So what I thought I read and my in-game experience was pretty much the same and I goofed that up yet. Yeah, silencer doesn't take off damage, it takes off range. However, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you they're still pretty terrible attachments. Like you really don't want to be running the silencer on shotguns because it turns them into pea shooters. Not very fun at all. Lastly today I made a minor mistake on high caliber. I said the high caliber headshot damage was 1.6. It's actually a little bit lower than that at 1.5x. Kind of like it's basically like the COD ghost headshot attachment. High caliber gives you COD ghost headshots. 1.5x. Little little mistake there, but that was due to hand testing. Like hand testing and actual hard stats from a stat chart or from the Den Kirsten forums or something like that are much, much more reliable than things I do in private match because those things can go awry. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Corrections. I hope you were able to glean some useful information out of it, something that'll maybe make your classes better and improve your Call of Duty Black Ops 3 experience. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. The previous in-depth episode was on the Argus Slugshot gun. 
done. And the next one, I'm going to keep top secret for now. Crypto out.